Hey guys, today we're going to be reviewing the YJ UPO V2M 2x2, so let's get straight into it. So this cube is one of the cubes from the YJ budget line. There's also the 3x3 version, the 4x4, 5x5, etc. Um, but the cube that we have here is the UPO 2x2. Um, and specifically version 2. There was a version 1, I guess you could call it, um, but at least in my opinion that cube was mediocre at best, so when they released the version 2 and it was magnetic, I was definitely intrigued. So we'll get uh, straight on into reviewing this cube. So we'll start with some of the specs of this cube. So in total this cube weighs 65 grams and it is 50 millimeters across which is pretty standard for most 2x2s these days. Some are like only 49 millimeters and some are 51, but in my opinion, 50 feels perfect. It's right in the pocket, it's pretty good. Um, and right now you can get this cube for $6.99 on thecubicle.com. So for the color shades on this cube, I think they're all pretty good. The only one that I guess is just mediocre in my opinion is the red, and it's just your classic bright red as you can see. A lot of people like that. This is just like completely off of what I like personally. I kind of like darker reds and then everything else is pretty bright. Um, but if you're into bright reds and um, bright other colors, then this color scheme really shouldn't be a problem for you. If you have any of the other cubes from this budget line, such as like the Yusu, the Yu Shuang, um, or the, the one that most people know, the YJU Long 3x3, um, it's the same exact color shades as that, so if you like those, or if you've seen those before, um, and you liked them, then you shouldn't have any problems here. So on to the most important thing, of course, which is like the feel and turning of the puzzle. So the turning, if you do it slow, is kind of bumpy, um, but once you start turning a little bit faster, you really don't notice it at all, and it's certainly not a problem, in my opinion, especially if you're speed solving. I guess if you were practicing like slow solving maybe, um, usually I only do that on 3x3s, but I suppose if you're doing it on a 2x2, two two, then it might get a tad bit annoying, um, but overall I don't really think that that's anything um, to worry about too much. And I forgot to mention earlier about the magnet strength and the, since this cube is technically magnetic, um, it's really light when it comes to the magnets. Like I'm talking really light, you can't really feel it all that much unless you turn really slowly. And you can kind of see on the screen, they sort of click into place, but when you're turning fast, you can't really feel them at all. Um, but that being said, I do get the sense that they are helping. Like for example, if this cube didn't have any magnets, um, I don't think it would by any means be of the same quality. So even though the magnets are pretty light, I do think that this cube is definitely benefiting from them, and even though you can't really feel them when you're turning fast all that much, I definitely think that they're good to have there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some solves on this quick. I'll be doing an average of 12 that I'll be showing you in just a second here, which I'll probably speed up so it's not too boring. Um, but what I'm gonna do is sort of just take a little mental note um, and kind of compare the kind of times I get and the feel that I get to my current main, which is the Vault 2N. Um, which, by the way, I have compared this to the YJ MGC 2x2 before, so I guess if you're interested in seeing that, I'll throw that in the top right corner here. Um, but obviously, we're here for the UPO V2M, so I'm going to go ahead and do some solves on this and tell you what I think. So I just finished doing my average of 12 here on the UPO V2M, and the results were kind of interesting. 
Uh, my average of 12 was a 6.32, and this was on the UPO V2M. Um, now, that being said, if I got that average on the Volk 2M, that actually wouldn't be half bad. Anything that's under about a 6.5 average is really not too bad, at least for my standards on 2x2. So the Volk 2M is like a $20 cube, I think, and this is like a $7 cube. So um, substantially less than half the price of my current main, and it performed pretty well in my opinion. So yeah, overall thoughts on the UPO V2M. I think it's a definite buy, especially if you are starting to get into 2x2 and you don't really want to commit to like a super full-on nice cube yet. I definitely think that this is well worth your money and your time for that matter. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review of the UPO V2M and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.